Hey lads and lasses, the first video on my new VOD and personal best channel is an Elden Ring world record achieved in the glitchless All Remembrances category. I spent several months attempting to reclaim the title, through which the speedruns route changed several times. I was also challenging myself not to shave until I achieved said record, raising the stakes even higher. This run is that record. And it happened at the end of June 2023. While you can look forward to a full explanation video on my main channel, just to clarify, all remembrances means that all of the game's 15 main bosses need to be slain. Glitchless further prohibits any use of game breaking glitches, and also disallows skipping any bosses that would otherwise be required on the route. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the speedrun, because it is as clutch as it gets. Trust me. As long as we keep on progressing the way we are. Maybe this run I'll get one boss further, dude. Reset to Noble, then reset to Rikard. Maybe this time we're gonna reset to Radan. Mombe, thank you so much for the 26 months. Welcome back. To the Reset City family, how are you doing? Thank you for your continued support. Oh, hello, Nepocryphon. How you doing, dude? Yeah. yeah, then it's reset to Mimic. <laughs> Gonna get stoned to death. Fuck. Nice jump. Humidity is out, yeah. It's, um... Very, very true. Like, considering it's supposed to be hot this week, and there's supposed to be storms, I assume that it's gonna be very humid, and, uh... Yeah, it's not gonna feel great. But we'll manage. We'll manage. It's just gonna be awful in the garage. Which is where I work out, which is, you know, not good. Because it makes it kind of hard to breathe, really. And you just sweat a lot more, get tired much easier. Yeah, yeah, it's, um... Like, it was kind of cold over the weekend, but today it's starting to get hot. It's like 27, 28. It's supposed to be around 29 to 30 the entire week. I think Friday it's supposed to drop from 29 to 30, uh, sorry, to 21. Or Saturday or something, but yeah, it, it's gonna be pretty hot. Hey, Megumin, what's up? Well, Czech Republic, it's like a typical Central European climate. So what we've had the last few years is kind of inconsistent summers where you have like a heat wave. Where it gets really, really hot, but overall, it's not very consistent. Like, you might have days in the summer where it's pretty cold. But then, it gets really hot for a bit, and it's dry, so... Thank you for the luck, I appreciate it. Hello, John. What's up, dude? How you doing? By the way... It was so bad today, it rained a bit in the morning, it was sunny the whole day, super humid. Yeah, it was very humid on, on Saturday or Sunday as well. Yeah, I think it was I think it was yesterday where it was pretty damn humid. I would love to go reset my sugar levels to some cinnamon toast crunch, but alas I have no milk. Use yogurt. Diluted with water or something. <laughs> All right, man. Sounds like a good plan. And at least you'll have to move to get it, so easy clap. 
Seen a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not very common. Absolutely not. Because even though this has been the case, that there, there can be a lot of heat sometime during the summer, like I said, it's not very consistent. Like, it doesn't last for a long time. It's not like there's a month period of super hot weather that... Like, properly installed air conditioning units are pretty, pretty rare, yeah. Hello, Laser. How you doing? Thank you for the luck. I appreciate it. We'll see. So far, not much luck today. Yeah, it's, uh... I do prefer if it's warm. You guys know that. But, like, either, you know, make up your mind, weather. Like, either have it be cold so that we can, like, heat up the house and be comfortable. Or be hot for a while. But if it's hot a bit and then cold a bit, because the house isn't really insulated, it takes about two to three days of warm weather outside for the house to heat up. Right? Warm up. And then as soon as it gets, like, cold again, uh, it gets pretty cold. So if it's inconsistent like that, you're kind of suffering. Hello, Fenchal. How's it going? But then the issue is, because it's not insulated, if it gets really hot, especially here upstairs, it just, yeah, it gets pretty unbearable indoors. Yeah, we've had some rain recently as well, which was nice, but it would be better, again, to have consistent rain, right? Like, I don't know, one day a week or whatever. If it's really, really dry for a while and then it rains a lot, it just, yeah, there's a huge risk of floods. Week ago, I had plus 10, and now it's 28. Of course, I have no AC and I'm melting. Oof. Yeah, that's a, that's a huge change. 18 degrees in the span of a week, that's wild. I remember during winter 2020, or 2021, I think it was 2020 though. Like one day it was 12 degrees Celsius, and the next day it was negative 10. That was pretty wild. Will I do any percent glitches after shaving? Not quite sure. I mean, it would be the logical next step, but... Uh, and I haven't played with the Bloodhounds thing, so that would make it doubly interesting, but... We'll see. Maybe I'll take a break from speedrunning altogether. I'm not quite sure. What's up, C14? How's it going, dude? Yeah, more Bloodborne Wednesday. I'm honestly very much looking forward to it. Because we are finally in an area that I had never been in. Well, I say finally. We obviously went into the Nightmare Realm last time, but... Anywhere I go now, it's going to be fresh. Yeah, it, that's true. When it comes to the overnight, that is also true. So, like, even though it's hot outside, you wake up in the morning and because there's no good insulation in this house particularly, it's, uh, yeah, it can be kind of cold in the morning. So that's just uncomfortable, right? It gets warm outside and indoors you're wearing a fucking sweatshirt. It's it's weird. Yeah, it's getting hotter this week here as well, C14. It's hard for me to say. It's like something in between. It's just a regular four-season climate. The thing is, there are two things for me to say. Number one, due to climate change, winters have definitely started to, like... They begin later in the year. They used to begin in, like, October or whatever, and by, like, February, you were done. Now, 
It depends, but like winter usually starts in like December or G even January. And it's gonna be quite cold even like until March, April. And this year it was crazy long. Like we just stopped heating the, the house up at the end of May. So basically you have a period of like 10 months out of the 12 in a year where you're heating up the house. So obviously that costs a lot of money. But it's, yeah, it's a typical four season climate where you have spring, summer, autumn and winter. But it has become more volatile, I would say, over the years. Cold breeze from the window, dude. Gotta get earplugs for sleep. I use them pretty much all the time. Which probably isn't a good thing in the long term for my ears, but... Last night, I actually, for the first time in a long time, funnily enough, now that we talk about it, uh, I slept with my, my without my earplugs. Forty-two. Holy shit, DBZ. That's pretty bad. Yeah, stay hydrated. Very true. Well, for example, in Prague, I, I didn't have to heat up my room ever. And in the summer, it was, you know, the problem was that it was unbearably hot. Like when I was down with COVID last year after TwitchCon in uh, in July, it was a mega hot. Like I wouldn't even open the window because it would just get hotter in the room. So even during winter, I never had to heat it up there. But here it's like the other way around. Oh, damn, you actually do have milk. See, sometimes all you gotta do is check. Good stuff. So are you enjoying some cinnamon toast crunch yet? How was it? How was what? Welcome back, Nepo Griffin. In this category, yeah. Because you get it for free. Party rice. Like, Serpent Hunter is just always going to be on the way. In any percent glitchless, you could have a readout with BHF because you could choose which shard bearers to kill, right? You only need two to get to Lanedale. So you can choose. Here, you sooner or later, you have to kill all of them. So you're going to have to go to Rikard either way. And as such, you just get the weapon for free. Like, essentially, for this category, Serpent Hunter would have to get nerfed to the ground. Which hasn't happened. Thoroughly enjoying it? Good stuff. Yo, what's up, Abyss? How's it going today? Greetings and salutations. Hello, Dima. How you doing? Thank you for the luck. We're chilling. We're chilling. Uh, not much luck with the runs so far, but maybe this one's gonna turn the tide. How are you, dude? How are you doing? Yeah, yeah. It, it would have to be sick. It would have to be something extremely broken. That would. Um Either completely offset the time loss from having to go obtain it. Or it would have to be easily available as well. Yeah, the funniest part about Texas is when the grid was going out. It's like, oh, we're not we're not prepared for all this uh, all this winter, guys. Sorry that all the electricity is gone. 
Oh, it's way too hot, dude. We're not prepared for this heat. Sorry that the electricity is gone. Fucking no W. Oh, shit. Nice. I hope you enjoy. Yeah, happy birthday to your brother. That is very hot, Zaboom. That is very, very hot. I would fucking die here. Like, in this room, with that kind of temperature, I, I would just die. I, I, nothing else to say. In the past two summers, I think there was like one day where I couldn't really fall asleep because it was so hot in my bedroom. And it definitely wasn't 43. So that would, yeah, that would need some kind of a cooling solution for sure. I shall relate to him. Your brother, bunch of nerds on the internet are wishing you a happy birthday. He's like, what the fuck? Yeah, it just cripples, yeah. And also, there are some really fucked up contracts that can obviously be forced upon people because there's not enough regulation. I do recall people getting hit with some insane bills during that period. Because obviously the supply was just so much lower than the demand. Nevada crickets? I've not not heard about that story. Have no idea what you mean. Don't know what's happening. Feel free to enlighten me. That look like a nerd? No, but you're here, so you are one by association at least. I was saying that earlier, I need to get, like... I mean, it's it's gonna, you know, soon it's gonna start getting... Uh, bright later in the morning, but I keep on waking up really early these past few days. Like, naturally, because the light just goes in my room even though I have... Jalousie closed. It just gets way too bright. Yeah, I woke up at like 5.20 or something today. I mean, I fell asleep for another hour, but obviously that's just not very high quality in that regard. So either I need to like start going to sleep earlier, which is hard with the stream, and hard outside of it as well, because I get stuck here editing pretty often. Want to finish up whatever part I'm working on, and then all of a sudden it's too late again. But also, it's like bright until... well, not bright, but it's like... Pretty much bright until like half past 9 p.m. So I keep on waking up early, but... I feel like my body could use a little bit more sleep. Jalousie moment. Not jalousie, jalousie. That actually is a word. What's up, Cookie? How you doing? Hmm. Yeah, I'm like the other way around. I use the I use the an eye mask. For sleeping in the US when I was uh, getting some rest from being jet lagged because I got some on the plane. 
So I was able to get some good naps using them, but I feel like they would just be way too uncomfortable in the long term. But those could help technically with the morning light. And earplugs are just a matter of getting used to. I've been sleeping with them for a long time because uh, when I was in Prague, I had two roommates and they would pretty much always be awake, dude. It felt like they never slept. And to the toilet was like the bathroom. The toilet wasn't directly next to my room, but the place where you would go and wash your hands in was. So I would hear that quite a bit over the night. So I learned to use the plugs and haven't had issues since. Hey, what's up, Mugiwara Dono? Thank you for the kind words and welcome. I hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoyed whatever run you were watching. Because I've done quite a few at GDQ at this point. How's it going? Hello, hello. What is the word in actual English? For what? Oh, jalousy? Ah, uh, you'd probably just say blinds. Oh, the recent AR run, nice. I think I couldn't hear the alarm well enough. Um, if you can put it on the bedside table next to you, the vibrations are going to wake you up, probably. No, I've definitely had that happen before where I didn't hear the alarm. But that was because I had it like across the room in Prague. Um, if I have it here... Next to my bed? Uh, I can hear it fine. Blinds or shades, yeah. Yeah, with a pull cord, that's right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Georgian, that's, that's correct. Yeah, like, these shades are not very good. Like, they're closed behind me, right? And there's a lot of light going in anyway. I mean, the window is partially open. So that's a big part of it. But... Yeah, they do not block out as much light. If I stayed here, like, if this was my place and I knew I was going to stay here for years, I would definitely get, um... Blackout curtains, at least. Oops. Especially for this room, to be able to get, like, you know, fairly consistent lighting. I have a proper setup. That's why you don't let cats do that stuff. Yeah, we've never had an indoor cat, so... That hasn't happened. That being said, the... Um, the cord has gotten broken in a bunch of the windows, because it's fucking fragile. So some of the stuff we had to, like, tie up to fix, and some of them be glued together. The ones that didn't break as much. He says he's chilling. Looking for a part-time job on the school. It sucks. Oh, well, part-time jobs. Seasonal jobs always suck, dude. Yeah, jealousy is a... Uh... I think it comes from French and it's a... Uh... Pretty international term. And hello, Albert. How you doing, by the way? What's up? Look a bit of the heat too. True. I'm not sure how much that would have helped here. Like, this entire house would just need proper insulation. 
That would help with, you know, not getting the heat in and keeping the warmth in the winter as well. Stamina! Holy shit. I couldn't do shield poke to finish there. I needed three more shield pokes and I couldn't do the last one because I didn't have stamina after the first two. But somehow I didn't get hit by the lava. Even though I... Stood really close to the boss. Fuck him indeed. Free control. Yeah, blinds are not the cheapest thing to install. Like ones that are actually made for your window specifically. There are things that you that are like generic that you like install just a thing on top of the window and then there's like a yeah, I think that you can pull. But I would just, what I would get, and these are actually pretty expensive, but just those black curtains that um, hotels have, right? That's not really something that looks good at home. But I would get them for my studio, essentially. Like, whatever I would be streaming in. Hello, Viesta, how you doing? Like, I wanted to get a small curtain for the door that was behind me in Prague, right? That, if you guys remember, that was, a, that was a door that had glass in it. And when I, when I was sleeping, after the pandemic, I got really used to just calm and quiet while I was sleeping here at my grandma's place. So that's why whenever my roommates were being loud overnight, I would wake up, and whenever they went to the toilet, they would turn on the light, and I would see that through the door, and that would wake me up as well. So I needed to block out the light, and I wanted to buy a small curtain, and that was, like, so fucking expensive, so I was like, hell no. So what I did is I literally bought, like, just black fabric. And put that on the... on the door, and it did a really good job. I had to tie it up uh, with a with a. I used just a regular tape to make sure that it doesn't like flail away from the door, right? Because then it created gaps where the window could still let some light th through it. But I taped it to the door, and it was chill. Well, the curtain roll thing um, probably wouldn't do as good of a job. It depends, like, I would have to try a bunch of options, I guess. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not a an indoors architect. I've never really decorated a room or bought stuff for the house or anything like that, so. Something I would have to try. Still, I have the wrong thing equipped. But there's no point if I don't know, you know, if I'll be staying here or not. Like, I don't want to live here. Not that I wouldn't like the house, I just... Nice lag, dude. I just don't want to live in the middle of nowhere. This is not good. Yeah, I'm not gonna stagger him here.
She started buffing up way earlier than he normally should. That was really awkward. Because what I thought is if I do... Did I do a crouch attack and a roll attack? I think so. Like, I was pretty sure if I do a crouch and a roll attack, it's not enough after the first charge R2 to get him into a transition yet. Okay, whatever. Um... But it wasn't enough this time. Like, it's possible that I did two crouch attacks. And not crouch and roll attack, but... Like, generally charge R2 into crouch R1, into regular R1... Sorry, into roll R1 should not put him into the buffing range. So, I did another R1, but he was already buffing at that point. And because of that, I had to roll the buff up, and I couldn't do two charge R2s before the gravity pull. I could only do one. So it was impossible to build up enough poise before he uh, got into the part of the animation where he cannot be staggered anymore. It's so fucking hot, I'm so tired. Yeah, it's starting to get hot here as well. On Wednesday, I'm probably gonna be sweating profusely the entire stream. Today, it's still, it's still bearable for now. Yeah, at least once he came back from the meteor transition, it was, uh, it was a swift affair. Like, it gave me good RNG after. What's up, Devin? How you doing? Thank you for the luck, I... Interior design, yeah. It is an indoor architect, though. I mean, you can have a... Garden architect, architect an outdoors architect, so... Indoors architect as well, there you go. But yeah, you're right, it's interior. Like here, whoever does interior design, they're just called, you know, Mr. or Miss Architect. But yeah, it's like, you know, property isn't mine. And even if I do, like, inherit it from my dad, half of it is my aunt's. Right? Because... Uh... My dad has a sister, so it's half and half split. And in the end, I just, yeah, I, I don't want to live in this locality. Like, I don't want to live in the middle of nowhere. Trash bags? Yeah, well, that's actually true, but I don't think I would like that. Because in the end, if it's a space that you're in day in and day out, and especially me, like, I spend, you know... Most of my days up here, uh, yeah, I, I don't want to have fucking trash bags on my windows. Sometimes complaints about them wanting him to design the entire inside as well. I'll do it for him. Link me up. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I mean, you straight up go ahead and study, study interior design, obviously. It's its own field. Hey, what's up, Midgan? How you doing? We used to have a fan as well, like a big one, you know, on a stand. I don't know where that one has gone off to. I think my dad might have taken it. Then again, I'm pretty sure they have an internal AC unit right now. At their place. So it's like, fuck, return the fan. Like, I wouldn't point it at me during the stream, but... Uh, could whiff up air a little bit, at least. Oh, well, like I said, it's not going to be hot super consistently, because that's the kind of weather that we get these days, so it'll be fine. <laughs> I was not sweating anymore. Don't point the fan at your balls, that sounds kind of dangerous. Both in terms of what the fan could do, and both in terms of the cold air going into those intimate places. Yeah, well, not sure if our uh, electricity bill would thank us. But then again, it's like...
What's the difference? If we have to heat up the house for most of the year, like, yeah, you're using coal, but like, you know, that's the source of energy. And now during the summer, like, you, we still have to use electricity to warm up water. So, yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean, but still. Some dangerous malfunction, you never know. Reset rage doesn't heat up your house? I don't rage. You know that I'm a calm... calm person, especially when playing this game. I'm sinning? What's up, Oh no. You can tell me whatever is troubling you, my child. Ordered pasta and pizza at once? Is that from the same place at least? Hey, that emote is from Dark Souls days, obviously. Dark Souls way more rage inducing than this. Totally. Oh, it's actually from different places? Okay, you are sitting. I was like, dude, if it's, you know, from the same place, at least it makes sense, you know? Might as well ordering from one so, like, it's easy to just put something else in the bag. In the shopping cart. But this way you have to go out of your way to order two different places. Fuck it out, from two different places. Have you had nothing to eat today? It's happening. Hey, the slammy mode or smashy modes? That's a. Uh, I wasn't even angry. I just. Uh, I was explaining something. I mean, I was probably angry. But it wasn't out of rage, that gesture. I was trying to show off an attack. All right, dude, thank you for the luck. Hopefully this is the only run that will be on the stream, because it will go all the way. It won't, but one can hope. Either way, it's not going to be gone on Wednesday, even if I got the recce. Because I want to schedule a haircut and both shave and get a haircut at the same time. So the change is even more radical. But yeah, thank you, man. And have a good one. Neither place at garlic bread? How, it's funny because we talked about... Or I mentioned garlic breads sometime last week. I was like, I need to make that at some point. It's like not a very hard thing to do at home and it's very, very good. Yeah, I haven't had garlic bread in a, in a long time. I think last time was a couple years ago at some event. Where we were at a restaurant. And... The appetizers that came before the main dish. Someone ordered garlic bread as well for the entire table. What kind of pasta did you order anyways? Cause there's a fuck ton of pasta dishes. Yo, what's up, old sound? How's it going? Yeah, speaking of food, I should get into my oatmeal soon. Got a teeny tiny bit of that vanilla protein, new vanilla protein powder in it, so we'll see how it tastes. But I only put in very little, so it's probably gonna be the same as always. I will see. Hey, hello, Lynn! And hello, Raiders, welcome in! My name is Catalyst. For those that do not know me, I speedrun Elden Ring these days and Dark Souls 1 sometimes. People will tell you that I do not speedrun Dark Souls 1 anymore, but... That's a secret, I do. Yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. I think I saw on Twitter that you were putting together the rest of your uh, PC builds. I hope that went well. 
Hey, what's up, Bass? How's it going? Hello, Andrew. How you doing? I don't recognize you with a beard. Don't worry, my family doesn't either. Soon enough, my grandma's gonna get scared that someone's uh, robbing the house next time I show up. Yeah, I basically, so the story with the beard is this, guys. I was working on my thesis and I was, I'm almost done with my master's, right? My master's thesis. But when I was working on it very intensely, I took like two weeks, but I wasn't doing anything else. I wasn't streaming or anything like that. And in the meantime, I wasn't shaving either. So I went like three weeks without a shave, basically. And when I came back to do runs, I was like, okay, I'm not going to shave until I get the record. And well, you can see how well that is going. But soon, hopefully soon. Yeah, it was, it straight up was like, the only time I, I wasn't working on the thesis is when I was eating when I was in the gym. The build is working, so I'm happy. Yo, that's awesome. Yeah, there's nothing like the fear of the first, uh, first launch of a new PC and seeing if it's going to post or not. What's up, Carol? How you doing, dude? How long have you been at it? I, I don't remember exactly, but it's gonna be like six weeks, I think. I want to say that it was at the end of uh, at the end of April or so. Come on, Pumble. It's like the longest my facial hair has ever been, pretty much. I think. The reason I say that is because I never really grow it out because it looks the way it does. And there was a time in 2018 when I had it long, or like, roughly this length, maybe slightly, slightly shorter. But the reason I say this feels the longest is because I don't think I've ever felt it as much as I do now. It's really weird. Oh, shit. Nice. Hello, Mimi. Yeah. It's, uh... Don't worry, we'll get the record. Cause there's more on the line, like if somehow I don't get the record before ESA, which is, it starts 21st of July, so it's a month away, it's a month away. If I don't get the record by then, I'll have to wear cat ears during one of my runs at ESA, and yeah, I don't want to do that. Especially cause if I do get the recce, then my friend who I entered into the bet with, she's gonna have to wear them instead, so. I better win this bet. Looking forward to the eventual DS1 return. I mean, it's gonna happen, you know, it's gonna happen. Elden Ring is gonna get too boring. Not shaving, you are getting a record too. Personal record, but still. What do you have against wearing cat ears? They don't look good on me. That's why I want her, uh, my friend to wear it. Even though there may or may not have been a photo of me posted in my Discord wearing them when we are celebrating. Birthday, said ESA. Do I wear bunny ears? No, I'm just gonna wear my human ears. Got ears that are big enough, dude. No need to wear another pair. Maybe the cat was just very clean. Who knows? Do it intentionally at least once or twice? Well, the thing is, if you never grow your beard out, you do not know if you're actually growing a proper beard or not. That's the thing. But clearly... I have the facial hair in all the wrong places. It's, it's funny, because with my father, if he combines our facial hair, we would have, like, a full beard. Because he basically has facial hair everywhere where I don't. Like, he mostly has it in this area. I 
All right, let me start numbing on this oatmeal. It is time. That's pretty good. Unsurprisingly. Bon appetit, thank you. I'm just hoping to get a portion of my oatmeal buff in before Nocron. Trim it and style it? I mean, that's what I thought as well, right? Because I've never tried actually looking after it. I know there are some oils that you can apply and, and just look after it a little bit more. Trimming would definitely need to be done because it curls up a lot as it gets longer. So I think if I grew it out maybe little by little with some trimming, it would be a little bit more straight. But... I'll wait with that until I get bull. Once I get bull, I might as well try get that Kratos look, you know what I mean? Even if it's not in my genetics, this game is gonna make me go bold, so... All wax and combing? Combing? Huh? Yeah, it's something to look into at some point, I suppose. But I'm not at a point where I would really be super interested. That is full Nordic beard. And never style it. Yeah, I mean, my father doesn't have to do that. He has a goatee, basically, naturally, and he only trims it with, like, scissors, basically. Hey, what's up, Ruan? It's good to see you. Thank you for the luck. How have you been? Also, what's up, Zeke? Congrats on the check mark, brother. Thank you as well for the luck. So are there like specialized brushes for facial hair or like what do you brush it with? Hmm. I also don't know what the fuck I would do with the mustache because the mustache looks pretty bad. And it doesn't really connect, like, with my chin. It's like a bristle brush, badger hair sometimes, but it's stiffer. Hmm. I see, I see. So you're saying I shouldn't take the brush that we have for my dog and brush my beard with it. Understood. Even though that is stiffer, you know? Daggers. And yours missing something. There'll be plenty of time to try it out once I get older. Right now I can still rock the juvenile look. I mean I've already proven to myself that long hair doesn't work on me. So I have a higher chance of making the beard work, at least. Tried fake beard? Damn. Like Donald Trump Jr.? Yeah, maybe while I have enough normal hair, I should get, like, reverse hair treatment. And just have some of my regular hair taken, put on my on my beard. Trying long hair right now? I got to try that in 2017 and during the pandemic a bit as well. It's not good. It just curls up way too much. Like it's okay in the back and in the lower back. Where it kind of curls up. 
in a pretty standard fashion. But the top gets like insanely bird's nesty. I'm from Santa's costume? Lol. That shit's gonna make you sweat. I remember when Zaz did his run at the Speed Souls charity marathon where he cosplayed as Gandalf and by the end he was like... He lost five pounds just due to sweating. That's fair enough. I mean, during the pandemic, I was the, I was the same way with the hair. Like, I went ten months without a haircut, I think. It wasn't very good. And in 2017, I went slightly over an entire year. So, like, I got to try it out. And as I've said multiple times, I would hit the ceiling first before hitting the ground. Like, it curls up a lot, but if you would try to straighten it... Um... It doesn't get as luscious. Like, it's not- there's not so much volume. So I wouldn't be able to have- have it straightened. And have straighter hair. Like, I would need at least some curlage, but it just gets... Way too curly. At least you know you would look decent, so... Maybe in the future you can give it a shot again. Mm, I should have used MP after, but that's okay. That was fine. Maybe I should also get a wig and see how I could look like with different with a different hairstyle. Yeah, you would say that it's the best, but then the real best boss fight is coming right up, so it's a hard hard argument to make, actor. Maybe Pran, you can reset now? Yeah, we probably will. Yeah, I, I've never seen, like, a proper high-quality wig. Well, maybe I have, and because it was high-quality, I didn't realize it was a wig, but... To my knowledge, I've never seen anyone uh, with a proper high-quality wig. And the hair was not visible skin or hair, so that summer I took advantage grew to be out until it wasn't patchy. I see, that makes sense. I mean, I'm sure I would get used to how the beard feels around my face and stuff, but yeah, I do want to get rid of it because it's awkward. Yeah, that's true, Actorith. That is true. That is a good point. Good wigs are insanely expensive. Maybe I should just have one made out of my hair. Like, they would style the hair somehow, but I would, you know, donate my hair as the basis for it. Cause the hair's pretty good quality. There would just have to be a lot of it. So they could straighten it up. I'm not sure if fine gargles count. Yeah, it wasn't like crazy good gargles, but it wasn't bad either. So I guess it's uh, still open. Whether we're gonna reset or not. I mean, we already lost 20 seconds on Radan, so... Yeah, fair. Then again, it's not every day that you have a Vig available. Like, the only ones are s I've seen where that I have my hands on, they're like... Comical ones for like... Plays in high school and stuff. I 
It's like six weeks or so that I haven't shaved. Shave, haven't shaven in. No! Okay, that's fine. Hey, that was good, actually. Yeah, that could have been pretty bad, because the wolf took the aggro there. Well, that wasn't bad. I uh, barely reached the quick step guy with the... Uh, with the follow-up charge R2, but yeah, that's not bad. The issue is that I did lose two runs recently in Langdale, so... Yeah, not bad, not bad. It's actually over... It wasn't that crazy, come on. It's just both splits were mediocre. I don't think you're gonna get in and have you look with long hair since your hair is gonna be completely different for the hair of the wig. Yeah! Um... I think the point is to try and see what you will just look like with a completely different hairstyle. Not something that you can emulate easily. It'd just be interesting. Mm. Like, there are... ways to make someone look bold, right? For, like, movies and stuff. That would be interesting to try, because you can always be bold. So you would, give an, you would get an idea of how you'd look like it. Delay gym until consecrated snowfield skip? So what you're saying is uh, you're gonna go as, as I die on this upcoming skip right here. Gotcha. The cheapest way is just to photoshop it? Yeah, but it's not the same. Like, even seeing myself on camera is... or in a mirror, it's very different from what other people actually see you as. But you're not wrong, yeah, I guess photoshop can help a bunch. Can just shave your head? The point is... What if I wanna try to see how it looked before? I do something irreversible like that. Like, sure, the hair is gonna grow back out, but... I'm a public person now. Also nice, that was good. I was gonna say I need to look after my image, but then realized I've been growing this fucking whack ass beard for six weeks, and yeah, that doesn't really add up. Is there like 20 minutes under that skip? It's gonna take a while. The entire mountaintops run is there. It's like, yeah, another 10 minutes for sure. <laughs> Actually, I need to unequip this. this. Why Serpent Hunter? Because it's by far the fastest for this category. You get it for free, because you need to go to Rikard sooner or later anyway, since he has a Remembrance, so you need to kill him. It's a really good weapon and you get it for free. There you go. Try to be Wind Diesel. Yeah, I know it's not irreversible, but what I'm saying is it will be... It's not something where you can be like, okay, I just shaved my head. And the next day, like in fucking GTA, you have your haircut back. Damn, that was a sick fight as well. Like, this is a good split. Yeah. Like, I only... I, I, the only... The only mistake on this was... Um, one of the bow cancels was only partial. That's true. 
I mean, in the end, I think it is a matter of just getting used to it. I think most people are gonna look fine, bold. It's just the initial shock. It's a huge difference. Like, I had a teacher... This was uh, in undergrad, at the start of undergrad, and I had him for a semester where he had hair the entire time. And then, like, the next semester started, the one uh, before we went online for COVID, and he just showed up bold. And I was like, what the fuck? And it was really weird, but, you know, three weeks in, it was, yeah, pretty natural. Yeah, bold publicly, exactly. The only problem is that if you're short and you go bold, then, like, everybody's gonna see all the pimples on your head if they show up. Gotta be more cautious of that. Damn, this was a very good lane deal. I mean, it's not over yet, but pretty much. Just wear a baseball cap? I don't like wearing things on my head. Maybe if I was bold, I would though, who knows. But yeah, I don't I don't really like wearing caps or snapbacks or beanies or anything like that. You blind them if you wax it? Um. Yeah, keeping bold if your hair is still growing is pretty annoying too. Like, I have a friend who, you know is bold. He doesn't have, like, a lot of hair, but it still grows out, so he has to just shave it, like, every two days or so. That's, like, insane upkeep, dude. Let my Share them with me. Sister Kamaguyumiya, I just got myself a service pass next time I go extra associate fully just for the memes. Well, you see, your advantage is that if you're as handsome as you are, you can just have whatever hairstyle and it'll be fine. Which to us mere mortals is just not fair. Ah, <laughs> rain has started, I can breathe. That's good. No golden rain from Morgoth, fortunately. Top hat like a true gentleman. Yo, do that Bloodborne cosplay. Need red glasses for that as well, then I can become one with my character. My character even has the neck beard that I have. I like wearing my crown. Now, I didn't know that, that Finland had a king. I change up the menuing. Make sure we favor the correct grace to save time. You can favor multiple graces at the same time if you want to, but then you would have to cycle through them. So I always try to just, you know, I always make sure to only have one favorite at a, at, at a time. I mean, I suppose I could favor that one. And also, well, I cannot do more gods, actually. Uh, sorry, mogs. So yeah, it's 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 fine. Cause like, I can warp really quickly to Ichi, but then it's four inputs from Ichi. Potentially earlier, I could favorite uh, Road to the Manor, to Ichi, when I'm in Grand Cloister. Right, when I, when I run through Lake of Rots before Gargoyles. But there it doesn't really matter anyways, because I'm lighting a grace, so I'm warping while waiting for the grace to be lit. So there's like minimal time loss, basically. 
due to the menuing. But if there's a grace that's gonna take a while to scroll to, like three inputs or whatever, it's always good to favorite it ahead of time and then just have a double input. I'm not good the neckbeard gene. It's alright. It could be worse. The beard could be worse and also just, you know, the genetic lottery in other parts of my of my body could be worse, I guess. Like I'm as far as I'm aware, I'm kinda healthy, at least uh maybe not in the brain, considering I still run this, but generally most of my organs should be fine. Egg-shaped head. It's unfortunate if you go bold. I feel like you get used to it again. Like our boy Zero, you know, he's very egg-shaped and he's bold and he looks fine. Like bird's nest. Not itchy. Itchy the blacksmith, but I guess your head can also be itchy if the hair is growing back out. As it can be with a beard and other hair on your body. At least you're not touching a lot of things with your head. Well, like with your face, you look down and immediately you feel the beard or lack thereof if it's growing back out. You are touching a lot of things with your head. Why are you fucking headbutting people? Try shaving my ass once, big mistake. Well, the thing is, if you have a hairy ass, you want to get rid of it. You gotta commit, man. You gotta be, you gotta be shaving it regularly. Cause then, obviously, it doesn't. It stops being itchy. I guess you could get like laser therapy stuff. I don't know how expensive that stuff is these days. But apparently, it works pretty well, right? Like you go ahead and and just get hair lasered off on some part of your body. I don't think it can be... Per uh, like, I don't think it has to be permanent either. It can last for like 5-10 years or whatever. How can you even do that? Can you not reach your ass? How do you wipe it then? Everyone all the time? You gotta use what? Nair? I don't know what that is. This main topic is body hair. Well, so far, yeah. I mean, I'm asking for it when I talk about my beard in the title. Hey, what's up, David J? How you doing? Never move your head, get one of those dog things. You mean the dog, uh, like cone? Medical cone? Blood Freight came to work bold. It was unusual. Later I noticed that it is amazingly smooth and shiny. One of the secretaries flirting with him even used his head as a mirror. Yo, what the fuck? You said cancer? Wow, that's, yeah, that's pretty rough. So, uh, why are you bold? Chemotherapy, dude. Like, oof. Those cones are no joke. Like, my, my, one of my aunts, she had a, she had a surgery because of her fucked up back and neck. And she had to wear that cone for like three weeks to a month. I don't remember exactly. And she... Because she, you know, she had to like not move her neck much. And so she would sleep while, while seated. 
with the fucking cone on. It must have been uncomfortable as hell. Almost too far, but not quite good. Like, I slept seated once somewhat recently a couple of years ago. Because I had really bad stomach ache, and, uh... You know, I obviously I woke up in the middle of the night, it hurt a lot. And it didn't hurt as much if I was seated, so I just sat in my bed, leaned against the wall, and I fell asleep that way. Yeah, it wasn't the most comfortable position, I'll tell you as much. He stopped blocking. Fucking asshole. Oh, what can you do? The answer is nothing. Nice lag, dude. That could have been really bad. Like, if the game lagged as I was supposed to get the repost, I could have missed the repost completely. That's too much affection, Kata will ban us. Well, gonna do that today. Because I'm on the run for now. And Abyss is gone. There's hair removal cream? Oh, okay. Though you should not use it on genital areas, it burns? I see. Doing well, happy Monday. Happy Monday to you as well, David J. I'm glad to hear that you're doing well. The best co yeah, best topic for conversation. Good thing that for the boards, I have my microphone separated so I can just mute myself and hide chat. It's okay. I mean, there have been worse topics than talking bodily hair Yay, you can go to the gym now, Dumi. Unless I die to this fucking bounce again. What a fucking meme that was on Friday. Yeah, insane, unbelievable. Who the fuck is this guy? Hitting the skip. Try to wax this chin up bleeding, getting sticky wax all over the place. Yeah, maybe don't do that while uh, while being drunk. It's actually cursed. Not that good though. Both are down and right card were kind of meh. Well! Now you have Mog and Regal Ancestor Spirit that can lose a lot of time. Wanna we'll see where the train derails? Well, as long as it's not gonna fuck up your schedule completely. Like, for you, the worst case scenario is that this gets a record, right? Or PB goes all the way. If you calculate with that in mind, and it's still okay, then it's fine. You not have to find the albinaric woman in this run? No. I wouldn't find her anyways. My GPS got broken. So my neck is too tall. Neck hole. There's no no one making them tall enough. Oh come on, there's probably gotta be some for dogs. That would be enough. Yeah, 
I've never, never tried boxing anything. I don't think, I don't know. I don't know what I would want, box. I don't have much chest hair. I've said that before. Like I have he hair here and there, so I just shave that. And um, I wouldn't be boxing armpits. That sounds painful as shit. What are the best healthy carbs to eat, in your opinion? I'm trying not to eat any type of bread. There's nothing wrong with eating bread. But, I mean, if you just want to keep it on the healthier side, keep it with more fiber. So that means, you know, whole wheat stuff. Full grains. Because if you say that you do not eat bread, but you eat rice... Then, that's kind of silly, because <laughs> they're basically the same thing. But yeah, if you, if you keep it on, like, the whole grain side, because of the extra fiber, it fills you up more. Um, and it is marginally healthier, yeah. Oh, I haven't seen that skip before. Wow. Yeah, that skip is fucking awesome. I mean, it's been known for a long time. Oh, nice salvage. But we always thought he had to trigger a death cam, so that would go against the glitchless rules, right? You would trigger a death cam and then quit out, so you're using the death cam to sequence break. Which, per rules, is not allowed. But then we found out there's a way to do it without triggering the death cam, but it makes it very fucking precise, actually. So if you hit the death cam, you have to quit out before you hit the floor and retry the skip. And if you do the double jump too early, you hit a death plane and just die. You know, more record pace, that's what matters? Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, let's see, let's see. I mean, obviously two big RNG parts coming up. If I played well and you get decent RNG, um, it should be smooth sailing until Plassey, pretty much. That's the freezing lake skip. I wanted to practice that, but I always forget about it, dude. I almost fucked it up last time. You have to remember so much when speedrunning? That's not too bad. It's very easy to remember what to do within areas, usually. The tricky part is remembering the order of things, right? Especially if you can warp around a lot, like in Dark Souls or in Elden Ring. But then that's what you have splits for, so those kind of tell you where to go next. And then obviously the more and more you do it, um, the easier it is to remember everything. Yeah, that was a good cookery throw, I think, but it's stuck there. Yeah, and you still have to rig the Bells of Awakening, yes. I got an exam, God knows when. An exam? From what? All right, let's see what this fucker has for us. Good start. Okay, I hit the headshot as well. Good! This should be easy now. Nope. Second headshot. 
Gonna save a hit. That was good. That was good. Total fluke, but all my friends went nuts. That was a funny video, fun video that I watched. Where basically it talks about how on a lot of first tries, you do like your best attempt for quite a while. Because you're going in with like no expectations and stuff. And after that, when you die, you're like, oh, I almost got the guy, you know? It can't be that hard. Like, it's gonna be fine. You get a lot more confidence and you start sucking a lot more on the subsequent attempts. I think it happens often enough that there's probably something to it. Apple Reduvia and Mimic. Be his ass, yeah, that's fair. Hmm. Try waxing legs, yeah, that's fair. I never shaved, like, I've shaved thighs before. I haven't shaved, like, the entire leg. I wouldn't really be interested in that. But that's true, that does take a long fucking time. Especially when you have big quads. Yeah, Ancestor Spirit is another big port. If that goes well, then we're doing alright. The boxes near the merchant in DS1 miss you breaking them? Well, I don't miss them, Hase. Funniest thing is that, like, very shortly after I was done with that route, Andro found a setup with a keyboard for that skip that made it a lot more consistent. Not perfect, but a lot more consistent, nevertheless. Alright, we don't wanna jump to the side. And that's not a jump to the side. Good. That's good stuff. Knee heal, indeed. No knee heal this time. Six hours grinding mode when I had COVID was fun. Mog is a great fight. I like him a lot. Definitely one of my favorites in this game. I spent a lot of time practicing Mog's, Mog's uh, fight when we were doing the rune level one bounty. Because in order to skip phase 2, you needed to get both headshots, like I did here. So... You had to grind the second phase a lot as well. Damn, what the fuck? Well, that was also fast. What is better for speedrunning, controller or keyboard? Whatever you're more comfortable with, it doesn't really matter, you can use both. Or I, I, I guess I should say, you know, you can use both technically, but I guess I should say you can use either. Hey Bob, it's going alright, thank you for the luck. This is the only run so far that has gotten anywhere and it's okay for now, so it's going alright. How about you? Hey, what's up Bender, how's it going? Can you please reset so I can go back to work? Damn. Guys, I fucking reset all the time. And then one time I have a run going somewhere, you're like... Fuck, you're fucking up my schedule. Stop. Oh, I had to shave my entire body to scab scabby's treatment. It was terrible. That doesn't sound fun. Yeah, like I... Like when I date people, I would obviously like keep up shaving a lot. And it was... A lot of effort. That's good RNG again.
But yeah, th this run's like okay. There there's still much, so much left, so. Not too much to get excited about, guys. <sighs> yeah, that was generally like if I wanted to keep my legs cleaner or whatever, I would probably consider like laser treatments, because it was just way too annoying to deal with. And shave frequently. Hey, almost hour, how's it going, dude? What's going on, man? Hey, what's up, Moses? How you doing? Thank you for the love, Bandai. I appreciate it. Made barbecue yesterday, which was nice. Like, typical American barbecue? Where you, like, smoke the meat for 10 hours? It's called Reset City, not finishing Run City. Yeah, don't worry, millennia has got our back. And all the other bullshit in the late game. Don't worry about it, guys. It's fun run, though. I'm enjoying this one. I just save a lot of time in Regal Ancestor Spirit because it was bad in PB. Had to jump to the side in PB. Hey, one true Brog, how you doing? Thank you for the luck. How you doing? It's been a good Monday. I can't really complain. Went to pick up my sweetener. Did my good deed for the day as well, because my cousin was here for a visit. She was off work today. And she had a package at the post office as well, so I, I took it on the way. And now we're gaming. First two attempts were shit. I reset to Noble and the right card. Good descent. Now, yeah, no attachment, exactly. I'm thinking, oh, okay, I, I see, that makes sense. Yeah, that the laser would probably be a little bit risky. In that regard. Well, you gotta do it the other way around. You gotta get laser for the hair treatment first and then get tattoos after. I could do that. Yes, cruise was on the grill for 20 minutes or so. I see. So like a typical barbecue, what we would call barbecue. That sounds nice though. Yeah, my 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 aunt had uh like my mom's sister had birthday on Thursday, so my mom went over to their place on Saturday, and they had some barbecue as well. It was decent weather, I think, on Saturday. I don't remember. I don't know. Like, I talked to my mom on Friday, so I didn't talk to her over the weekend. Could have gone as well, but I had work, obviously. And it was only like, it wasn't like a celebration or anything like that. Mom said she might, like, even sleep there overnight from Saturday to Sunday, so that would have been not good for me. Wouldn't want to do that. For her birthday as well? Damn, happy birthday to your mama. Hey, what's up, Bloom Knight? How you doing, dude? Thank you. Hope you're having a good Monday. Всем здорово! Хорошего настрою... Что, блядь? Настроения! Эй, привет! Как дела? Спасибо! Thank you, thank you! Nice! I, I got to use three of the phrases that I know. Insane! Cyber Prostate. I, I like that name. I 
Hopefully those will be available once I get to the point that I will need to go pee every night. Esport. My neighbor is Iraqi, he grills lamb screws on holidays and fucking awesome. Dude. Lamb sounds really good. Like I haven't had lamb meat in Decades at this point. Oh, close to decades, I guess. So I don't even recall how it tastes, probably. But usually anything is like really good on a grill. Just something that you cannot recreate easily at home, unless you have, like, liquid smoke. With liquid smoke, you can get pretty close. But I've never seen liquid smoke in a regular grocery store here. Would have to order it from somewhere. Hey, Cyrog, how you doing? Thank you for the luck. I appreciate it. Lamb curry last night was so good. Yo, that sounds pretty awesome, though. Because curry is great. And I can imagine Lamb working really well with that. It's in all the grocery stores here. See, that's what I'm fucking saying. Like, the selection of products here is just fairly low. Like, someone asked me what I don't like about living here. And I was like, yeah, the selection of groceries. I mean, it's a very small problem to have. It's definitely one of the things that I thought of. Alright, Jojen. See you on Wednesday. Looking forward to it, dude. Alright, Godric has like two openers that you can do. And before he does the third Omega Rare one. I did the bad one, that sucks. But he did a good follow-up at least. Hey Philandra, I'm doing alright, how about you dude? What's going on? Okay, it's one of the best dishes ever. Well, Prague probably does, but... Almost walked to the wrong place. You think the aerodynamics would help Regal? Maybe. At this point, I would get too distracted, though. Because I don't even know how it feels like to have a clean shave at this point. Yeah, Prague has a lot of things, obviously. And chat. G has has jam. Hey, Drifka, thank you so much for the two months! Welcome back. To the Reset City family, enjoy the new green badge next to your name. Like, that was that Korean store that I wanted to go to for the longest time in Prague, but I never got around to doing it. It's taken a while. It's probably still better than what we have here, Tori. Fuck me. I can't believe this is happening. Yeah, I look too far to the right. That's okay. It's not a huge time loss. It is a time loss, but it's not huge. That's what I was saying, dude. I almost fucked it up last run. And I did want to practice it, but I always forget about this part. I always forget that this is a thing in the run. So I looked at the wrong notch on the compass when I was running up the wall, but I didn't slide. However, what I'm used to with the regular setup, what I did on the second time here... Is um now I am the monthly leader in bits and subs. I sure hope nobody takes either of those titles from me, Kappa. Yeah, I sure hope so as well. Uh thank you. Like because I was looking far enough to the right with, with the regular setup on the second go, 
You basically follow a certain notch as you're running up the wall, and then you look one notch further to the right and do the jump. And so I did that with the first on the first go, but I was already looking one notch further to the right. So when I looked even more, I just slid down. On the second go, it was good though. Yo, thank you for the hundred bit, Zach. Not a self promo? That's not. Of course not. You can edit for anything or anybody. Even yourself, if you just say that you were editing stuff, doesn't necessarily mean that you're promoting your own shit. Now I have to eat hot food. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm finishing up this oatmeal, which isn't hot. My dinner is also not gonna be hot. Move. I guess my omelette tomorrow morning is going to be hot. I couldn't do charge R2 when I jumped off the horse because of fucking inputs buffering being glitched. This split, I mean, that was fine, but this split sucked. Local venue, damn. Cool. Yeah, I've never really done, like, proper edits for those social media. It's definitely a pretty unique skill as well. I made one short, pretty much. My top three favorite types of beans? I don't know if I eat more than three types. I'll say that, you know, the most I eat are probably red kidney beans. Um, do you count chickpeas? Like garbanzo beans? I guess those would be number one if you do count them. Then red kidney beans. And I guess black beans number three. And the worst ones would be white beans, but that's because, like, the ones that I've had were, like, without much flavor. Thank you for the GG's. I don't know if I've ever had pinto beans. It's not really something that you can readily buy here, I don't think. Okay, I lost only 10 seconds to that skip. That's not too bad. I thought it would be worse. I thought it was like 15 plus. Yeah, roasted chickpeas are very good. I usually just eat them. Uh, in like a mix with other legumes out of the can. Panitz? Is, isn't that a version, Pambuch? Put my hand into editing for real estate videos. I have a lot of like... Collections of different templates and stuff. That come with some of the transitions and whatnot that I've used. Mm. Those would be really good for that kind of corporate work. 
Like, they're not very useful for, you know, my creative work, but... I can imagine them making an editing job a lot easier. If you're making a promo for some company or something. Black beans, black beans, and black beans? I mean, black beans have, like, the highest... Out of the regular beans, so out of chickpeas, they have the highest uh, protein content, which is nice. But yeah, roasted chickpeas are great. Very, very true. You can, like, season them however you want, which is OP. Panic? I mean... Okay, I'll say panic then, that's fine. Okay, slightly different movement there, should be a little bit faster than the drop I was doing. I just didn't know that you would read that as H. I didn't. I, I thought that would be an X. Go behind him. Fuck, that was kind of far to the right. Now we're good. Off game, holy shit. I don't think I one shot here. Okay, I did at least that. Ah, how was that not a backstab piece of shit, Miyazaki, dude? Fuck off with your stairs, honestly. But at least we one shot there. I didn't think that would be possible. I thought. I would need another hit after the R2. Mm. That was 10 seconds to my mistake, now it was 10 seconds to the game being shit. Oh well, nothing I could do there. Yeah, I could play at a wedding too, some Elden Ring. That would be quite the entertainment, I would say. Oh yeah, it could be panic, I guess, as well. And check. Oh, so it's panic. I see, I see, I see. That makes sense. Well, panic it is. Yeah, 3 10 second time loss, sub-150 slipping away. Yeah, sub-150 is probably not happening this run. It's a much lower chance of it happening when you lose fucking 20 seconds on Radan right at the start of the run. We have to find someone who can make that sound. That's part of our alphabet, so... Can land it on the railing somehow. <laughs> Black flame the fuck out of that candle stand.
Good job. Hey, Bandit 2, how's it going, dude? What's up? Elevation preventing repose? Yeah, classic indeed. Dude, fucking stairs in this game are just awful. Like, you don't even fuck up anything and just get punished. It's the same with Godskin Noble. It's always the Godskins and the stairs in this run, dude. Insane. Whether it's Godskin Noble at the start or Godskin Duo here. Fucking sucks ass. <laughs> Speed on wedding reception. God, that's a that's a lot of uh, responsibility, dude. I guess I'd be capable. Just make sure to keep alcohol away from me. No AOE. Okay. Oh, there's AOE. Okay. And happy four months XTGL for the runs. Oh, that's really shit. Okay, it's staggered. Not bad, yo PK. What's up, dude? Melting from the heat? Not yet. Uh, today's like the first day when it's getting hot in here, so it's only gonna start tomorrow when the house, especially this upper floor, heats up a lot. And thank you so much for the four months. Welcome back to the Reset City family. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, thank you for the luck. Yeah, big RNG part here as well. Placido sucks is pretty annoying. Like, if he decides he's gonna waste a lot of time, then he's gonna waste a lot of time. Alright. Nice bow cancels. Fuck. Landed on the edge. Hey, Cravando, what's up, dude? Hey, what's going on, Crack Dre? I hope you're doing well. Yo, man. That was really shit. Well, the reason I said that is because I thought the first uh, Red Mains wouldn't have dealt enough boys. But it was fine. On us, though. It was a really good split. I was plastic to sex in PB run? It doesn't matter. All that matters is best possible time. It was shit. Wow, for once I had a rune arc active here still. <laughs> Stagger, sir? Thank you. No, oh, fuck. Didn't have stamina for a double. Oh, no, that wasn't bad. Not the best, but not bad. All time in highest regard, yeah. I mean, he's waited all this time. He might as well just keep on waiting for a little bit longer. Hey, Chaos. What's up? No, it's not. Yeah, Runarks boost your HP. It depends on what HP you have, but it's roughly a 10% boost. So, 
after tanking that lightning, you, you saw that I was like very low health. So without the without the rune arc, you die. Oh come on! Thank you. Asshole didn't want to run towards us. Come back, Jonas. Hey, AFR, thank you for the luck. I appreciate it. And you run for 20 plus 100 had to be promising. Yeah. Well, whatever happens to this run, um, at least we got to play the game already, which is quite nice. And it's only 7 p.m., so... Got time for more, technically. Yeah, now we've got Gideon, which should be fine. Godfrey, which should be fine. And then Ordina Skip, Loretta Malenia, 40 sacks, Radagon. The late game in this run is insane, dude. Like, those are all pretty fun fights, but... It can be kind of rough sometimes. Mm. Excuse me. Ah, there's we're not going towards uh towards Radagon just yet. We need to do Halic Tree. Maybe I can forget 40 sacks again like at ESA. Fucking footsies, dude. Never seen me fight Melania in a real run? I had a PB run with Melania not that long ago. Like, it was comfortable PB pace, still barely recce pace. And I died, like, close to the end of phase two, which sucked. Because I ran out of stamina when Mortarfall happened. Hey, Dota Probos, what's up? Yeah, the no waterfowl first phase, that was the one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect RNG, perfectly played as well. Quite a bit of execution in that first phase. Having to like unlock and manually aim and stuff. Good. <sighs> now this fucking skip.
That's fine. Went too early. This time turned slightly too late. That's still fine. Hey, third time's a charm. Yeah, that's not 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 too bad. Yeah, the retries do not take that long. Like this is over. I think this is over first or second try. So it's like two seconds lost per attempt, maybe. Oh, first time we see that attack interrupted. Oh, it's because. We use a very particular strategy in the first phase to ensure that we build up as much poise as possible so that the next charge R2 actually interrupts the grab. Because the poise carries over between phases. <laughs> I'm not gonna verify the PB though. I don't really verify my own runs these days. When I used to get five, like, PBs in three days, well... It's a different story, but... Hey, nerds, what's up? Millennia time? Not yet, there's still, there's still a bunch of shit left before her. Like, Loretta can end the run as well. One wrong roll at the start of the fight and I'm fucking dead. Yeah, five PBs in three days. Good old days. When I was still a capable speedrunner and not washed. Welcome to Lean Grave 47. <laughs> nice. Well, let's hope I'm the 47 and not, none of the bosses left are. No wrong warp got a PB on me, dude. Last time I ran no wrong warp, I suffered a lot as well, so... I feel you on that one. So yeah, it's been forever. Like, I haven't gotten a new PB... Uh, with the mountaintop skip, so... That's how I saved those 30 seconds on that Ordina split. Hey Diablo 2, how's it going? Oh, come on. Yeah, game crashed. Well, at least it's a game crash that doesn't lose time. Like, it's not on a warp or anything like that. Just waiting for OBS to pick up the game. And we're back. Really? Okay, some time lost there, but not too bad. Like that, if I miss that roll at the start, it's game over, because you're taking damage from the phalanx and from the hit as well, so you have no chance to survive it. Uh, yeah, she, um... She did an annoying follow-up where I had to, like, run away and then jump back in for the stagger. And then she was way too far away for me to do the next R1. But fortunately, I didn't get any bullshit afterwards. She went to do the arrow attack, so I was able to just get underneath her and do another attack there.
So yeah, not too bad. Yo, what's going on, Des? Thank you for the raids. What were you up to today? Some more Bluetooth? We yeah, are small indie developer, part of the experience. Yeah, imagine finishing a full round without the game fucking crashing, dude. Hello, everybody from Death Chains. You guys are doing well. Hello, Perception. How's it going? Hello, Barbecue Skunk. How you doing? Let's go, man. Learning DLC. Yo, most fun part of the run. Well, maybe not Calamate, but... Cool fights in there. Good to see you're still going at it. Wait, what skip are you guys talking about? It doesn't skip a boss? Nice bow cancel, I must have missed that. Oh, the repo skip. Yeah, that's considered to be a glitch because you're... Like you're... Cancelling full damage, right? Like, in theory, you could say, yeah, I mean, I'm just reposting an enemy and I fell in a really convenient spot, dude. But it's a way to... mitigate full damage completely. That would normally be there. It's kind of like using the explosive physic to, uh... Uh... to mitigate full damage as well. I'll put that in a similar boat. I also wouldn't want to do it this late into the run, because obviously it all depends on fucking enemy RNG, and it doesn't even save that much time. I forgot how much, but it's very little. It's like 10 seconds, maybe less, actually. Oh, don't even have a super good shield for it. Spend three hours on Calamite. Yeah, it's kind of... That's a standard, yeah. That's definitely something you're gonna probably, uh... Do even more of. Definitely a mega tricky part of the run. DLC coming out, I don't know if I should wait. I mean, it's gonna be like another at least half a year, maybe more, before the DLC comes out, so... It's up to you, if you want to wait that long. Alright, let's see. I'm dead. Holy shit, I'm not. Fucking whore.
What a dog shit fucking fights. Like, what is this fucking RNG, dude? Nice. This couldn't have been any worse. Like, holy shit. Fuck you. The mark of a true lord. Fuck you. Actually, fuck you, game. I mean, I'm happy I kept it together, even with that horrible fucking RNG. What are you doing? Why are you going sideways, bro? What was that? Just gold every split? Yeah. As if there was no RNG on the last one. Where's Abyss? That is a uh, birthday party. Not his birthday party, but birthday party of his brother. Don't worry, I got it. Could you let me fucking alt up game? Holy shit. Following since 2021. Well, I'll give him one day of time out, I guess. That fight, dude. This is just bullshit. Like actual bullshit. I don't know what they posted. I couldn't see it properly in Chatterino. Played it well with that RNG. I did. Yeah, I'm. I'm glad I didn't get flustered. I barely survived that fucking that first waterfowl. In the end, it all started because of the. Sp Fucking not getting a stagger at the start of the fight, like she dodged before I got the R1 in. And then she went into waterfowl so I couldn't stagger her. Yeah, no lightning in the way here is nice at least. At least someone's cooperating. Oh, floppy schlong, I see. Yeah, you cannot really lose those, that time there. Unless you just get fucked somehow. Ah, uh, yeah, well. Nice jump. I need perfect Radagon, otherwise it's over. I mean, Elven Beast has RNG as well, it's just way less. Also, I didn't do Radagon today, so the load here might be kind of weird. It might lag as I get in. That might fuck up my, uh, my running attack timing. Okay, it didn't. And that's not the perfect Radagon. Well, that's the attack I was looking for. I'm gonna fucking tie it or some shit, dude.
God damn it, Malenia! Couldn't you have been like 10 seconds quicker? Absolute bitch. What is this? I don't know what this is. Keep faster! We got it! <laughs> Two seconds, dude! <laughs> ah, I won! I win! I won at this video game! <laughs> oh my god, dude! Even with that millennia, no way! Man. Oh, right, I gone to the rescue! Yeah! Mm. <laughs> I wouldn't have it any other way, dude. I wouldn't have it any other way, of course! Oh my god, guys, thank you so much for GG's. <sighs> fucking. Congrats, Katu MVP. GG. This is fucking wild. I can't believe this. Why? Why me? Why does it always have to be so close? Like. I'm already gonna live to like 60, but if this keeps on happening, I'll die at like 45. Out of a heart attack. Holy shit, guys. Thank you so much. Oh my god. I can't believe I fucking did this. Ah, oh, by a second. Well, two, because it's gonna be. It's a low decimal, so. Oh my god. We did this, guys. Yeah. <coughs> Surviving millennia, man. Surviving millennia. This is insane. <laughs> Holy shit, I have so many people to thank. You guys are fucking crazy, yo. Thank you so much. Level 7 hype chain already. Rebeard? Yeah, it's kind of true, but hey, we did it! Ah! Took so long to PB, man. Took so fucking long to PB. G fucking G. Yeah! Thank you! Holy shit. Guys, you guys are crazy. Well, a little bit. I got clipped pretty fucking hard by that waterfowl dance. Oh, I can't believe this. We can chill now, dude. We can chill. I'm not saying I'm done because this is ridiculous, but we can chill. I can take a break from it. Thank you so much, everybody. Let me thank you. This is wild. Let me first get to the uh let me first get to the decimal so that whoever's verifying the run doesn't have to wait 10 years for it to show up. In the meantime, before the game crashes, thank you so much, everybody, for the support and for believing in me and, and just being cool and being here. Uh crazy babushka, thank you so much for the prime. Welcome to the Reset City family. Enjoy the 28 plus 5 animated emotes that come along with it. Zaboom, thank you for the 100 bits and for the kind words. DBZ, thank you so much for the 5 gifted subs. Irish, thank you so much for the 1000 bits, dude. Tempest, thank you for the 25 bits. David with 10 gifted subs. Yo, thank you. Thank you so much. You guys are fucking crazy, dude. Yeah, 48. Two seconds, man. I got 50 seconds of new time saves, but I got world record by 2 seconds. Nice. Ah. 